chest training, one of the more difficult body parts to build. You see some tremendous physiques on the stage, big upper bodies, big quads, but when you get below the knee, they lack the calf development. A lot of it has to do with genetics. Genetics play an important part in bodybuilding, but a lot of times they're not training the calves the right way. I'm gonna show you what I was taught by my coach, the legendary Bob Gruskin, on how to accentuate my calf development. And I have great genetics for calves, but I took my calf training to the next level and my calves at one time taped over 22 inches. So I'm gonna show you how it was taught to me and I'm gonna show you how I do them. All right, the gym I'm at doesn't have a standing calf raise. So you modify the exercise and I'm gonna do standing calf raises on the Smith machine. All right, I don't have any weight on it right now. I wanna just demonstrate how this exercise works and how you get up very, very high on your tiptoes and squeeze those calf muscles. That's the most important part about this exercise. Yes, the bottom stretch is important, but it's that upper squeeze that's most important. So watch how I do this. Now on my left calf, if you guys remember back in January, I had a really almost fatal roof fall and I tore my left calf pretty badly so it's not as developed as it used to be. My right calf is very, very well developed. So watch how the calf muscles are being worked in this video. I picked the weight up off of the rack. I got my feet standing on a 25 pound plate, elevating me about an inch and a half. And I'm gonna go up, starting at the bottom position, I go up and I squeeze at the top really hard. And then I come down. Nice and controlled. I'm not doing this like you see everyone doing the bouncing. You don't want to do that. You want to control and come up. Control it, squeeze it, and come down. Control it, squeeze it, and come back down. Just like that. What you want to do, you want to take this exercise into the high rep range. I recommend more than 25 reps. Choice is yours. You guys know I'm a high rep guy. I like to go closer to the 50 rep range. Remember, you're walking on your feet all day. Your calves are getting a lot of exercise. So in order to get any kind of responsive growth out of them, you really, really have to beat the shit out of them. And these high reps will help you do that. We're gonna take this over to another exercise, so follow me over here. All right, I am on the incline leg press. I'm gonna utilize this machine, supplement what my gym doesn't have. So they don't have a standing calf raise, and we did it on the Smith machine. I'm gonna use the incline leg press, and I'm gonna improvise and do another calf exercise to help fill out the development of the calves. Like I said, a lot of gyms have a lot of equipment, but some gyms don't have all the equipment for all the body parts. We have a seated calf machine and I'm not a big fan of it. So when I do calf train, I use these exercises to, to train my calves. So when I do the incline, I'm gonna utilize three foot positions. My first foot position is gonna be just like this, straight ahead. My feet are about six inches apart. You could lock your legs out, I do not recommend that, okay? I see that a lot, I don't recommend it. I keep a slight bend in my knees and all I do is come up, let the stretch come down and push and squeeze, just like that. I'll do this 20, 25 reps and then I'll switch my foot position. I'll go sort of pigeon toed which is gonna work the inside of the calf more. So I'm doing them like this. Okay, and again, I'll go to that 25 rep range and then I'll turn my feet outside. I get positioned and I'm doing the same thing. Squeezing the calf muscles. And you can see on this calf here where the muscle got torn, 
It's not as developed as this one is anymore, unfortunately. But I'm lucky I'm walking. Okay? This is another exercise you can do for your calves, and you will definitely get good calf stimulation doing this exercise. I'm gonna show you another exercise for a very neglected part of the calf, the front part, right through here, the tibialis. Very, very few people train that muscle, and it's a very important muscle that has to get trained. Because when you're competing at the highest levels of competition, the judges look at everything. If you don't have a very well-developed tibialis muscle on the top of the shin, that's not gonna help you out, man. You wanna have total, total calf development all the way around. So let me show you how I do this exercise. Follow me over here. All right, this exercise is gonna be done with a kettlebell. Back in the day, and when I mean by back in the day, I'm talking 50s, 60s, 70s, part of the 80s. I don't remember kettlebells being around. Maybe, but I don't remember. Not in the gyms I trained at anyway. In order for you to work your tibialis, which is the very top part of the, of the calf, they used to have a metal shoe that you would strap to the bottom of your sneaker and you would actually tie yourself into this with straps. And on the ends, were bars that came out that you would put plates on. So you were doing this exercise with that metal shoe on to work your tibialis. Now I haven't seen that piece of equipment in probably 40 plus years, but I remember using it back in the day and it was very effective. Now, since you don't have it around anymore, and if you do have it, you're fortunate because I love to get my hands on a pair of those. I improvise and I use a kettlebell. I put the kettlebell around the top of my foot. I keep my, my calf on top of the bench and I just go down and stretch the tibialis and I come up and I squeeze it really hard up top. This is gonna help fill out the top of that calf muscle. Now this is a 15 pound kettlebell. It's a lot of weight. You can tell I'm having a little bit of a hard time to control it. The tibialis is a very, it's not a very strong muscle if it's not developed. But this 15 pound kettlebell can get away from you if you try to really do the reps too fast. So controlled reps, concentrate on what you're doing and you can see what this is doing to the top of my calf, okay? In today's video, I went over three different exercises for calves. Standing calf raises, the incline leg press calf, and how to work the tibialis. If you have shin splints, this will help you build the muscle to eliminate your shin splints. This is a very, very good exercise for that. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. This is 43 years of what Bob Gruskin taught me to do back in the day, and I'm passing it along to you guys. So I hope you guys got some value out of this video. In the description below, you're going to see links to my Buy Me A Coffee site. I have one-on-one -on -one training. It's called Transformation X. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or my personal Facebook page or my Championship Muscle page, you'll see that Transformation X video in there, and I start explaining it. But in the link to the description below, to my Buy Me A Coffee site, the complete description for Transformation X is in there. It's a comprehensive 16-week course that I put you through everything. You are gonna learn 16 weeks, what took me 40 plus years to learn. I give it to you all. It is a very in-depth, very, very detailed, and I hold you highly accountable during these 16 weeks. Because if you wanna reach your goals, this program is designed to help you reach your goals. Until next time, I will see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.